Amma, known as the Hugging Saint, is revered around the world as one of the most outstanding humanitarians and spiritual leaders of our time. Her full name is Sri Mata Amritanandamai Devi, but wherever she goes, people call her Amma, which means mother. Amma has the unusual practice of sitting for long stretches, as long as 30 hours, to receive anyone who comes to her for an embrace. She's been traveling the world, hugging people for about 28 years, and the number of people whom she has held is about 32 million, close to the population of Canada. Amma says, Om Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu is one of the most important mantras of ancient India. It means, may all the beings in the world be peaceful and happy. The spirit of this mantra has been put into action. I like the experience of trying to help people in need. It's, re it's really nice because one day someone could do something nice for me and I really appreciate it. Evidence of this can be seen in the work of Amma Canada, a registered Canadian charity and the local chapter of Amma's global humanitarian organization. Across the country, volunteers serve the community through soup kitchen, elder care, tree planting, park cleanups, and care for at-risk youth. Since 2003, Amma Canada has worked with the St. Felix Centre in downtown Toronto. Each year, we take the kids on a field trip to places like Niagara Falls, Country Heritage Park, Toronto Zoo, Legoland, to name a few. In Georgetown, Ontario, we have teamed up with a local food bank. We collect donations of food and prepare hot lunches for about 70 people at a time. Similar programs are taking place right across the country. So Amma Canada is responsible for serving up to 8,400 meals each year. We have also reached out to senior citizens in Canada who are lonely or in need of help. Our volunteers visit elderly people in long care term facility and in their homes. In 2014, we reached out to Bennett Health Care Center in Georgetown and our volunteers helped to feed and read to the residents. We also organized a field trip for them to the Ripley's Aquarium in February 2015. I enjoyed the day, uh, seeing fish I never knew existed, the colors are beautiful, and to be honest with you, I would come again, it's well worth it. I enjoyed it immensely, thank you. We also do home visits where exercises are taught to help to maintain or improve their strength, mobility and stamina. We also just spend some time with them. In Canadian prisons and jails, we teach meditation courses. We also have a letter writing project where our volunteers are paired up with inmates to write to each other. Amma Canada volunteers have planted more than 1,000 trees in Canadian parks and urban areas. We work with the Evergreen Society to ensure that native species are chosen trees that thrive and support with their natural environments. In 2008, we opened our first centre on a small piece of farmland in Georgetown, Ontario. There, we practiced organic farming and luckily, we have some experts in the field signed on to help out. For the rest of us, we are enjoying learning the basics and plunging our hands into the soil. We've also started beekeeping at Yama Canada Centre to support the local bee populations. Bees around the world are disappearing rapidly. They pollinate about a third of our crops. And in Canada alone, bees contribute to a billion dollars to the economy. So, 
Just try to imagine a world without bees. Amma Canada is part of Amma's vast and ever-growing humanitarian organization called Embracing the World. Through it all, Amma manages to spend almost every day meeting thousands of people who come to experience her motherly embrace. When asked where she gets the energy to help so many people, while also building and running a massive humanitarian organization, Amma answers, where there is love, everything is effortless. Since all our efforts are through volunteers, your donation dollars provide maximum benefit to those in need. If you'd like to support us, please visit our website to find out how. The address is www.amacanada.ca.